Hello, 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 and welcome to another Ring Rouge unit of the Reek. And today, we're taking a look at the Morsa Heavy Artillery Gun. The 210mm Morsa 18 would be put into service in the German military in 1939 to replace the older Morsa 16 model, which was a World War I artillery gun. It was pretty simple, a big ass artillery gun used to deal with heavily fortified positions. It would also be used as a coastal artillery battery as well. What is rather interesting about the gun itself is that it was one of the first artillery pieces to have a dual recoil system. What that means is that the gun would recoil back normally, but a part of the carriage that the gun was situated on would also recoil back at the same time. Over 700 of these would be produced before the end of the war. A few of them would be captured by the Russians and used along the northern front. What's also rather interesting is that they attempted to make a SPG version of this gun, the Gershut Dragon Tiger, which was a King Tiger SPG with a 210mm gun. It never got into serious production. In game, the Morsa is a 150 point heavy character available exclusively to the 358th Infantry Division, and it has one big weapon. So, you got one big 210mm gun with 40 high explosive shells and 10 smoke shells. It makes big kaboom. The kaboom will blow up the majority of soft targets in one hit on a direct hit, and even if you do miss the target by just a re bit, they're probably going to be not very happy with all the suppression that they will receive. If you pop down to the miscellaneous stat, it shoots in directly, surprise surprise, has a radio so it's rather accurate with artillery observers nearby, and they can also drop smoke. These new icons are very informative. It is a 10-man artillery gun with normal optics, very bad self, and heavy cargo space. In battle, the Morsa is your standard long-range, big kaboom, heavy artillery gun. It's essentially just a 210mm off-map, but on the map it's time, same damage and everything. Just it will shoot a little bit slower compared to the off-map, as it's only one gun and not multiple, how the off-map works right using a barrage of shells coming in. Nonetheless, however, it's a really bloody good artillery gun. It's like the Russian heavy artillery gun to 203s and 280s. Anything on the other end is not going to be having a good time. It's is great at dealing with infantry in trench and towns, artillery guns, anti-tank guns, and even light tanks you can actually blow up due to the sheer amount of high explosive damage this thing performs. This is a big bloody artillery gun, and it's a real fun thing to use, especially 358th. It really gives you that artillery spam raw feel. You can definitely do a pretty good job in team games just by spamming a few of these. And you really only get a few, one in A phase, two in B, and four in C phase, with only one card of availability. Which is pretty standard for a super heavy artillery piece such as this. So yeah, it's gonna blow shit up. And it's going to make really pretty explosions and really big craters. And one thing I do want to know, it's pretty funny how with this new DLC, we got a lot of new German and Russian units. But the opposite side are using them. I mean, this is a big ass German gun, but you can only get it as a Russian. So, that's just interesting, I have to say. And well, I'm going to leave it off. Yeah, this has been another Rangers unit of the week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And usual, please just take it easy.